Greetings viewers, welcome to my channel and in this video we're going to be uh, showing how to repair a 12 volt 30 amp power supply uh, it's from Super Knight, I got this off of Amazon uh, it's pretty inexpensive and uh, I've had experience with a few of these units this is my third one and uh, this one happened to have a catastrophic failure hopefully it's not going to be too expensive to repair but uh, basically show you what happened uh, what it was doing was making a lot of noise from the transformer, it was making a lot of clicking noise uh, decided to put about a 10 amp load on it and all of a sudden pow it uh, fried everything uh, You could see that the output transistors here uh, Caught fire and then it also uh, popped the uh, 3 amp fuse here uh, Which is good because that with that certainly saved me. The only thing that I've added is the Thermal switch here. It's a uh, it's a bimetal strip. It basically at 45 degrees Celsius will close and it will uh, turn on the cooling fan to cool off the components but uh, what I'm going to do is I've already uh, verified that the control chip and all the transistors are still in good good shape. The same thing with the diodes and all the switching diodes, Zener diodes, all tests good. Nothing shorted there. It looks to be that uh, there was a bad solder uh, joint here on the transistors, uh, caused everything to uh, short out. So I'm just going to replace the safety fuse and the two uh, output transistors and see if we can get this to work again. Here's a quick update. I was able to replace the fuse and I was able to replace the two transistors that popped. Uh, still no output here. And uh, digging a little deeper, uh, a little bit more tedious, started testing all the transistors, all the Zener diodes, uh, even the capacitors that you would have to test out of circuit. But after all that, I should have just stuck where, uh, where the failure point happened. Turns out it was R9 and R20. I was able to confirm off, off camera that it does power up now. I put a simple jumper through it. They're actually one and a half ohm resistors, a uh, half watt with a 5% tolerance. Uh, that's a very low resistance, so they would have taken probably the same amount of current as the transistors once they failed. Uh, they were uh, showing open. That was the reason why it wasn't powering up. So I don't have any of these on hand, so I'm going to have to order some. And through the magic of editing, uh, you will see that installed, and this will be fully put back together and I want to run a load on it to make sure that the repair was successful. Okay, here's my test setup. I just finished the repair, added the resistors, and it uh, looks like everything is uh, running good. Uh, set the output to 12.8 volts and right now I'm drawing about uh, 5.3 amps. Uh, these are my heated seat pads that I usually had in my car, but um, uh, just using them as a load. They're set to high. Each of them have their own thermal switches, so when all four are running, you usually get about seven amps uh, draw. You just heard the fan uh, turn on, and uh, it just turned off. Uh, the thermal switch is working. I don't know if you can see it inside there, but it's inside the toroid coil there. Um, I'm just going to let it run like this for a little bit and uh, make sure we're good to go. But if anyone has any questions about repairing these kind of uh, power supplies, uh, feel free to uh, shoot me a message. Okay, to recap, uh, what went wrong with this power supply uh, is basically what I have here. Um, the two main trans uh, output transistors had failed. Uh, the safety fuse, a uh, 3 amp safety fuse had popped. And then the two 1.5 ohm resistors that was connected to the third pin uh, was uh, also damaged. The only thing I wanted to add was the uh, thermal switch. Right? I got five of these for about uh, $4.5 dollars. And uh, I put one of these in here, and it's less than a buck to add, to put this in. And this is what operates the fan uh, to go on and off. So if there's any questions on fixing these power supplies, feel free to shoot me a message.